I've noticed quite a few developers don't really know what NS object is or the function of it. So let's look into it. Swift is an excellent language, but it's compile time based, which means you lack the flexibility of a runtime based language like Objective-C, where things can be changed as you're running it. And that means for things like UIKit, that flexibility is required from the Objective-C runtime. And this is why Swift ships with the Objective-C runtime. And since UIKit requires those features and dynamic features from Objective-C, it needs to interface with the Objective-C runtime. And for this reason, the UIKit classes inherit from NS object, which means that Swift can interact with the Objective-C runtime. When introducing Swift, Apple spoke about the blazing speed of Swift and can compare that to Objective-C. And it's true, Swift is much faster than Objective-C in pure code. So when you interface with Objective-C, then you have a performance disbenefit. Now, obviously, if you need Objective-C features like dynamic dispatch, you kind of have to do that. This is something good to be aware of. And when inheriting from NS object, you are likely to suffer some performance disbenefit. So there are some specific reasons you need that Objective-C runtime. One is KVO, because Foundation is built on top of the Objective-C runtime. And you can argue KVO, you don't need it anymore because you have Combine but not every app will be suited to combine and there may be developers who still have KVO in their mind or in their code base, which is difficult to remove. There's also swizzling, things like localize, which changes the bundle where the strings are stored for localization is done at runtime using swizzling, which is an objective C runtime function. And at the moment, it seems really tricky to think how that might be done using pure Swift. So inheriting from NS object and accessing that Objective-C runtime doesn't seem like it's something that's going to go away particularly soon. When you have a class and you inherit from NS object, you're likely to have a performance here. Arguably, you want to avoid doing that, you want to avoid interfacing with the Objective-C runtime. However, and there's always a however, you might want those Objective-C runtime features. So you have to take a, a wider look and think, is it important for the feature I want to implement or the project, and then make a decision from there. There's no hard and fast rule. It has to just be a decision. Well. I hope this video has been of use to you and maybe I'll see you next time.